The god of chaos Apophis asteroid may be transformed by tremors and landslides during its 2029 flyby of Earth study finds, where the god of chaos asteroid Apophis makes an ultra-close flyby of our Earth in 2029, our planet's gravity may trigger tremors and landslides that totally change the asteroid's surface. Landslides and tremors may transform the asteroid Apophis during its 2029 brush with Earth, according to a new study. Named after Apep, the ancient Egyptian god of chaos, Apophis is a 1,100-foot-long peanut-shaped asteroid, although an impact with a space rock that size would not annihilate our planet, it could possibly destroy a city if, if it impacts our Earth. When Apophis was discovered in 2004, astronomers calculated that it could pass extremely close to Earth in 2029. More detailed observations in 2021 allowed scientists to determine Apophis's path with greater accuracy revealing that it had a smaller chance of hitting Earth than researchers initially estimated. At present, Apophis is predicted to sail as close as 20,000 miles to Earth on April 13, Friday the 13th, 2029, bringing it closer than some artificial satellites. And given that distance, Apophis probably won't affect Earth much in 2029, but how will the asteroid itself fare after this close encounter? The question intrigued Ronald Lewis Balouz, the asteroid scientist at the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory. Tiny meteoroids constantly bombard asteroid surfaces in a process called space weathering. Balouz told Life Science, however, Balouz added that astronomers have long seen that asteroids that pass close to planets like Earth often lack weathered surfaces. The exact physical mechanism that removes the evidence of weathering is not well known, Belou said. One possibility is that a planet's gravity pulls on rocks on the, an asteroid, the asteroid surface, tossing them away and revealing the underlying layer. And to test this hypothesis, Belou and a group of international researchers created computational models of Apophis. Few of the asteroid's physical features are known, so the researchers based their models on a similar two-lobed asteroid called Itokawa, which has been studied in greater detail. The researchers then simulated each model's movement towards Earth, tracking both large and small-scale physical changes. And the researchers discovered that two physical processes triggered by Earth's gravitational tugs will likely sculpt Apophis' surface during its 2029 encounter. One is tremors. That will probably begin an hour before Apophis reaches its closest point to Earth and continue for a short while after. The tremor's strength is difficult to estimate, Belou said. However, Apophis' gravity is about 250 times 250,000 times smaller than Earth's, he said. So we think that events of much smaller magnitude could plausibly, plausibly shake things up on its surface. This means the quakes may be intense enough to loft boulders from Apophis's surface. While some rocks may escape, most will fall back onto Apophis, creating distinct surface patterns that a passing spacecraft could identify. The other process is called uh, the, that could refresh Apophis' surface is a change in its tumbling. Tumbling occurs because the asteroid does not rotate on a fixed axis or time period. Instead, it tumbles through space like a badly thrown football. An unrelated 2023 study showed that Earth gravity would cause the asteroid to rotate either more quickly or more slowly depending on its orientation during the 2029 approach. The new simulations confirmed this finding, and they also revealed that the changes in Apophis' tumbling will cause the sloping faces of surface rocks to destabilize, potentially triggering landslides in extreme cases. Unlike the seismic shaking, these changes will occur gradually over tens of thousands of years, they said. 
The results don't just predict how apophis will fare following the 2039 encounter. According to Berluz, they introduce a novel mechanism for asteroid surface refreshing that may provide an answer to the decades-long problem of how close planetary encounters can modify small body surfaces. And uh, this is by Deepak Jain on Live Science by Berluz and colleagues. They hope that NASA's Osiris Apex mission will confirm their hypothesis repurposed from OSIRIS-REx, the spacecraft that picked up samples from the asteroid Bennu. OSIRIS-APEX is scheduled to study Apophis during its 2029 encounter, and it will rendezvous with the asteroid for 18 months to study its chemical composition and chart its surface. This is by Deepa, Deepa Jain on Live Science. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support. My Patreon account the daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.